Imagine this, you were on a date, and you're with a man who you have some level of attraction to, you like him, you're connected, and something goes wrong for some reason. Maybe he says something that's kind of stupid, or it's sexual way too soon, something that causes you to experience a lot of discomfort, some anxiety, maybe some anger, sadness, shame, and the date goes really downhill really quickly from there. Most women have experienced something like this because most men are not perfect at, at dating a woman and sometimes they say stupid stuff or do stupid stuff. Now typically that date is going to not go well and it's going to ruin the chances that the two of you are going to be together. But the thing is, a date like this can be completely turned around. If you know how to turn it around with your communication, and your energy. And that's what this video is going to be about. So hello, my name is Zach Rohde, and I help women like you create the relationship of your dreams by learning how to inspire a man into cherishing you using feminine communication and feminine energy. All right, so let's dive in here. In this situation, you are typically going to do one of two things if you are like most women. There's gonna be one of two control patterns. Either you're going to go into some kind of judgment, and it might be a softened judgment, and you might not be really reactive and, and loud or anything, but it's a judgment. And you judge his behavior, you judge his communication, you judge his intentions in some kind of way. In my experience, at least on a first date or really on, early on with dating, that's typically not what women do, but some do. Some definitely do. Some definitely have. I've not been the perfect man going out on dates, so I've experienced some of that. What is much more common for most women is they will go into kind of this enabling compliance pattern, uh, avoidance pattern, where they will not communicate what's going on for them. They'll kind of just laugh it off, make a joke of it, not say anything, go along with whatever the man's doing or saying, even though she experiences some kind of discomfort or some kind of feeling that doesn't really feel good. And by doing that, she's enabling his bad leadership or incompetent decision, incompetent communication, whatever that is, in that moment to derail what could have been a really great date and cause her to experience increasingly less attraction and connection, right? Because what's going to happen after that? If she doesn't do anything, she doesn't say anything, she, she's now going to have this negative experience, these negative feelings inside, and she's going to feel increasingly less attraction and connection. And then the man is going to feel that difference in her and he's then maybe going to become less confident in himself or he's going to do something else dumb because he doesn't understand exactly how his decisions, how his leadership, how his communication is negatively impacting her, right? And a lot of women, this isn't to blame women, this is just to help you understand, ladies, what's going on. You will often not communicate what your needs and feelings are when you have them. And you kind of expect a man to just mind read uh, and, and, and know what you sh he should be doing all the time. But he doesn't. And then because of that, he doesn't learn. He can't become a better leader for you. And what could have been good dates just turn bad. And this is the same in relationships too, right? Like not communicating your needs and feelings and just expecting him to get it, expecting him to understand. D dating and relationships require incredibly open, honest authentic communication. And specifically with women, it requires feminine communication. We're not going to get too much into the depths of that, but you can communicate in the wrong way and it's not going to make a date better. It's not going to make a relationship better. So in a situation like I have presented, what is a woman supposed to do? If you want to turn it around, and it would be, I recommend you try to turn it around, right? Because if you're not trying to turn it around at all, then you're not communicating any of your needs. You're, again, you're hiding. You have to share your feelings. I'm talking about real feelings here. I'm not talking about uh, feelings that are actually judgments like, hey, you know, I, I feel unsafe right now. That's not a real feeling. By the way, if you need help learning how to communicate your feelings 
learning how to communicate your needs, learning how to use your feminine voice in a way that's actually going to inspire a man instead of shut him down. Judgments like, I feel unsafe. That's going to shut a man down. He's not going to make you want to, he's not going to want to make you feel safe when you judge him that way. So if you want to learn how to communicate in a way that's going to inspire him into taking care of you, join our next masterclass. Next masterclass is coming up in a couple days. And if you miss it, you're going to have to wait weeks for the next one. We're going to show you how to communicate what's in your heart, what you're feeling, what you need, what your problems are in a way where a man just wants to take care of you and he wants to listen to all your feelings. He wants to help you. That's polaritymasterclass.com. The link to that and to all my main offers are below in the description. So make sure that you check that out uh, because that's really going to it's really going to take your dating life or relationship life to the next level. Okay, so you have to share your feelings and you should be asking for help with your feelings as well, right? Don't just blurt out like, you know, I feel sad or I I feel anxious or whatever. Because if you're doing that, first of all, you're going to be in a much more penetrative energy and he's going to feel that and he's going to be much less likely to want to help you with your feelings. And second of all, you're not taking the time to really sit with your own feelings with what's coming up with you. Like you're kind of putting it onto him rather than really being with your feelings first. And men respond well to a woman asking him for help. If he's masculine in any kind of way, even relatively emasculated men, a lot of them are going to respond relatively well. So you've got to learn how to ask. You've got to learn how to communicate what your feelings are. And then, of course, when he says, like, yes, what are you feeling or whatever, you have to learn how to communicate what is going on for you. And, and again, in a way that's not judging him in any kind of way. And you can't just avoid doing this. You can't just hide what is in your heart and expect him to get it, expect him to understand. Look, <laughs> men are dumb in this way. Okay, and I'm talking even about most masculine men. You know, a man who works with me in the academy program, he's going to fully get it. But most men, they're just not. And it's not that they're they're actually dumb. It's just that they don't have this specific skill set, at least not yet, of truly understanding a woman. Just like men, understanding men and their needs are somewhat foreign to most women. Most women have no clue what men actually need, which is why most women are not in healthy Uh, polarized relationships where they're being cherished. It's the same thing with men. They don't get it. They're going to get it when you get really good at communicating what's going on for you. But that requires you moving through that fear where you are just hiding and just hoping that a man gets it. And, you know, I'm going to tell you something. This might shock you, might shock a lot of women, but you should be sharing your feelings multiple times on the first date and when I say feelings like I said I mean real feelings like anxiety and I mean feelings about him both good feelings and bad negative positive I mean all feelings are beautiful but like feelings like sadness or feelings like joy Um, and saying that you feel attraction you feel closeness whatever both the good and the bad if you're not doing that you're not truly you're you're either not tapped into your feminine energy or you're afraid of actually expressing it vulnerably because imagine if you went on a date and i'm talking like first date here i'm not talking about a man that you're already in a long-term relationship with where you your heart is fully on your sleeve and you're just sharing everything that comes up when that happens when there's negative feelings that come up for you a man's going to understand what is going on inside you and how his behaviors are negatively impacting you so that he can adjust and be better for you and the same thing when you share positive feelings now he understands oh this makes her happy this makes her feel connection whatever and he can do more of that because now he's learning about you now a really skilled man who understands women really well he's going to be able to read your energy even if you don't say anything but again most men aren't like that They don't have that level of experience. Masculine men are attracted to women who share their feelings vulnerably, not in a judgy way, not in a disrespectful way. Most women do not know how to share their feelings. They think that they're being vulnerable. They think that they're being respectful. They're not. Okay. I've dated hundreds of women. I know that they're not. I've coached hundreds of women. I know that they're not. (laughs) 
<laughs> you might think that you are, but chances are if you're not in a polarized relationship where you're being cherished right now by a man, by a masculine man, by a dominant man, by a man who's fully in his self-worth and he's, cho he's chosen you, then you probably don't know how to communicate your feelings vulnerably, okay? So just be open to that possibility. So, but when you do learn how to communicate your feelings, masculine men love it. Masculine men are attracted to it. Masculine men want to be around that energy. Masculine men want to take care of you even when you're sharing negative feelings. And they're not going to be a burden to him as long as you're not putting them onto him. Very subtle, energetic difference. So this, once you get this, then almost any date that starts to go bad because a man doesn't show up perfectly, you can turn around. I'm not going to go into it in this video, but even men that you're not really attracted to, I'm not, I'm not saying you should date tons of men that you're not really attracted to, but when you're able to be really honest and vulnerable and stay that way, stay fully in your feminine energy no matter what he throws at you, it's going to tend to polarize him into his masculine energy and actually create attraction. If he's a bit of a people pleaser, if he's not really in his power, the softer that you become, the more it's going to inspire him into his masculine and one of the things that I say to my clients, my women clients is, it's like, of course you want a really masculine man, but, and you want to attract that kind of man from the beginning. But if you're not feminine enough to polarize a really emasculated man into his masculine energy so that you feel at least some level of attraction for him, you're probably not going to be feminine enough to attract the really masculine man that you want. That's going to be it for another video. For this one, just to wrap things up, uh, the the feminine communication learning to share your neg negative feelings learning to ask for help with those negative feelings it can turn around almost any date it doesn't mean you're going to want to continue going on every single one of these dates it's not about that it's just about shifting things that you can get back to really enjoying each other and then for a lot of those dates you might decide like yeah i was i was actually considering ending it not seeing him again but now after sharing my feelings and the way that he responded now I, I want to go out again with them. Because imagine if you have this little, like mini rupture, this, this shift in the connection, and you're feeling bad in some way, but then you share, you open up your heart, and he's just listening, he's fully present with you, he gets it, he's being accountable for his behavior, he apologizes, and, and not like to appease you in an in a unhealthy sense, but just because he realizes like, yeah, it was kind of a dishonorable, not really responsible thing for me to do, the the behavior that upset you and then he shifts just because he chooses to just because he wants to be a better man for you right that's attractive for a woman and and so it's going to open up all these other possibilities for you that otherwise wouldn't have worked out it's magic we see it all the time in our academy program just you need to know how to communicate your voice and this is what's going to empower you as a woman, like this is real feminine empowerment as opposed to what many women are <laughs> taught as feminine empowerment, being a goddess and all that stuff. That's not. That's learning how to be a man. We're not. I'm not teaching you how to be a man here. I'm teaching you how to be a vulnerable feminine woman who respects herself and also respects men so that you can get all of your needs met. So a man wants to step up and take care of you and be accountable for himself. It's like magic. So if you want more of that, and you're, you're, you'd like to go a lot deeper than what I offer in these videos, check out our next upcoming masterclass. Like I said, it's coming up in a couple days and it's going to really open up your eyes to seeing what this feminine communication looks like. These energy shifts help you shift out of the control patterns that you're in, many of which you're not even aware of, and give you a framework and a roadmap so to start making all these shifts so that you can have the kind of man in your life that is going to take care of you, that's going to listen to your feelings, that's going to love becoming a better man for you. That's what it's all about. Whether you're single or in a relationship, we're helping fix both of these issues here. Okay. If you don't have a masculine man who's fully taking care of you right now, who's not leading you, who's not helping take away your burdens who's not holding space for all your beautiful feelings, who's not encouraging you to share all of your feelings, who's not encouraging you to live with your heart on your sleeve with him all the time, helping you feel as safe as you possibly can, just fully relaxed, fully being you, fully authentic. If you don't have that, then come join our masterclass so we can show you how. PolarityMasterclass.com. Go there, book your spot. See you there. It's going to be amazing.